The NFL playoff situation, Chris, the NFC has pretty much got everything locked down, right? The only questions that we have in the NFC, the Rams clinched the West Division with either a win or an Arizona loss. Arizona clinches it with a win and a Rams loss. Or And then there's uh, San Francisco can clinch a playoff berth with either a win or a tie or a New Orleans loss or tie. And New Orleans clinches a playoff berth with a win and a San Francisco loss. That's the only questions in the NFC. Uh, the, the Packers have already have already figured out, you know, like they're they're going to be the one seed. The Rams have already got the tiebreaker over Tampa Bay for head to head. So if the Rams were to lose and Tampa Bay were to win this weekend, then Tampa Bay gets the second seed, etc. And there's it's some seeding stuff that can go on. But as far as guys getting into the playoffs, the AFC is a disaster. Tennessee gets a first round bye and home field advantage if they win. Or if they tie and Kansas City loses or ties. Or if Kansas City loses and Cincinnati loses and New England loses. Because they're so... I mean, think about this. This is just absolutely insane. Kansas City can clinch the first round by. Cincinnati can still clinch a first round by. New England can't get there, but they can clinch the AFC East. They have to win and they need... No, no, no. I take that back. New England clinches the first round by. If they win and Buffalo loses and Tennessee loses and Kansas City loses. So <laughs> there's there's still so many different things. And then you've got Indian, Indianapolis, the Chargers, the Raiders, the Steelers, and the Ravens that are all vying for playoff spots. Like, this is going to be an insane weekend trying to keep up with exactly what all needs to happen. Hey, you uh, you got any thoughts on, on all the stuff that's happening here? Uh, I mean, it's a lot of options, I guess you could say. But but I don't know that I don't know that any of it matters. I don't think I don't think most of those things you just named off and talked about are, are any good. Like we're going to have a lot more playoff teams this year, uh, an extra playoff team, let's say, in each side. But I don't know that it matters. I don't I think any of those teams are really good. No, no, no. I don't think they're. I don't think any of them are very good. But adding this extra playoff team this season has changed things to where. Uh, this last week of the season, there's still a lot to play for, uh, whether it be seeding or just a bunch of teams that are still vying for spots. Like it is really, really crazy. Philadelphia on in the NFC, like uh, the two, three, and four seeds uh, and five seeds, uh, the Rams could be any of those based on winning or losing, uh, based on what other teams do. Right? Dallas could be the two, three, or four seed. <laughs> I mean, the Cardinals can be the two seed, the three seed, or the five seed. And then you've got a uh, Philly that could be a six or seven, and the 49ers could be six or seven. And then New Orleans can only get the seven. So it is, I mean, it is bonkers. And then you look at the AFC side, I mean, it's just, it is insane. Like, there is, who even knows what's going to happen here? I mean, we do know the teams that have already locked in spots on the uh, on the AFC uh, you got Tennessee, the Chiefs, the Bengals, the Bills, the Patriots, and then uh, Indianapolis, uh, the Chargers, the Raiders, and the Steelers are all fighting for their spots. So, I mean, who? And, and then of course uh, the Ravens are still back there at eight and eight, and they've still got a shot. And now they need a lot to happen. Uh, when is the last time you saw the Ravens in a position like this? They have to win, and they need Indianapolis, the Chargers, and Miami all to lose for them to actually make it in. Like, that is, that's bonkers. So, lots, lots to go on with the playoff situation this weekend. I will be glad when it is over, my friend.